Okay, we are at the Finetry, Finetry, I don't know, Finetry Gardens at uh, University of Victoria. And we're just gonna go, go around and explore. Um, the area is fenced off to protect from deer and rabbits who might mess up the gardens. Uh, but we're just gonna take a look around and it's really weird being like on campus again, I was saying. I didn't even go to the actual campus. We're gonna look, like, check that out later. Um, but for now, let's just see the gardens and I'm, uh, my buddy, we're just gonna go around, take a look. Look at that right there. There's some bamboo in this garden. There's like everything. I'm just like thinking about someone has to maintain all this. That is kind of crazy. I guess this is a great place for the biology or ecology student. Look at that. I don't think I've seen actual bamboo trees before. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so you got some bamboo over here on this walkway. And uh, in there, I'm guessing that's supposed to be a pond, but it is covered in algae. So they probably need to use those systems that um, break up the algae. Usually like the little things that send like air through it. Yeah. Look at that. Let's see what this bamboo feels like. Oh, very smooth. Huh. Yeah, bamboo trees. Don't think I've actually seen live ones. Don't think so. I don't know. Well, wherever there's bamboo, there's pandas, so beware of that. All right, and so then we got this other section where it's like, you had these like forest trees and it just changes. So there's someone maintaining it. Very nice of them. Um, but yeah, this section is like all trees that you'd see I think in a, in a forest. Uh, so, so like this looks very similar to a lot of the forests I've been in over here. A lot of these plants are familiar. So yeah, look at that. It's just weird. It's like a change in like, not exactly biome because it's still all greenery, but like st still like a change in um, ecosystems or something, something like that. You know what I mean, right? Like look, like pine trees here. Let's go up. And earlier we just saw bamboo, so it's like it's like a change in like locations. So yeah, it is really nice here. It's like. It's so very quiet. Like if you come here on a nice day like today, it's pretty nice and sunny. And you just like, you can hang out here for quite a while, I'd say. And yeah, it's very peaceful. Like they got benches on random spots. Like for example, over here, like you can walk on the grass and like, Hey Alan, I'm just gonna go down here, take a look. Um, and then there's like benches, like right there. Right, bench there. And then you got a bench, another bench. Ooh, this grass is like kind of kind of damp. Anyways, you got another bench like right here, and you can just sit here and just relax and enjoy nature. Yeah, it's really nice. It is really nice in this garden. Yeah, and it's not like a garden that you'd expect like spread out and just like flowers, only flowers. This is like a garden of like all kinds of different plants and vegetation and everything so it's pretty cool yeah just some random deer walking through campus yeah it's like an everyday thing over here yeah uft would never have this but uh we're heading to the main campus and we're gonna take a look around see you deer so right now we're at the uh uvic uh, i'm guessing this is the music the music building so right there, you know, Uvic, and then it's uh, partnering with uh, Old Stanley School. Damn, Stanley and Sons, that is, that's impressive. They make some really nice uh, pianos and instruments and everything, so that's pretty cool. Um, we're gonna take a look around, see the other buildings, try to see all the buildings they have to offer, and um, compare it to my campus, which is UFT. So I'll see you. So right now we are in the human and social development building. So it's a uh, interesting looking building. I can't really describe like a lot of this architecture. You just gotta kinda of see for yourself. They're all like not just standard buildings designs. So we're gonna take a look around here. Um, and then yeah, 
show you if there's anything cool. So yeah, it seems like a lot of this building is actually just dorms, but there are a few like archer places because I do know when we were down there, we saw some dorms and then I heard people in, in them. And so we're just gonna take a look down at the lecture again. I really wanna get into like a lecture to kind of see how that is here and what the lecture halls are like over here. So this is one of the lecture halls, pretty decent. Uh, lecture hall, actually pretty small um, lecture hall. Guessing this fits, I'm looking for the max occupancy, occupancy number, which I don't see. I'm guessing it just fits like, can you look around 100? Maybe slightly less? Yeah. Cool. So this looks like the main common area. You got your big field out there, and this is a bit more open. There are Tons of trees around this campus. It's very green compared to U of T, which is just we got trees, but like not like this, you know, just like planted. Look, in the middle of like the the walkway and everything, or like these walkways are built around these trees. When they decided to make this, so that's pretty cool. This right here looks like a really nice spot. They got a nice water feature here. Uh, a few fountains, waterfalls, and the pond. I would, if I was at this university, I'd probably spend a lot of time just here. This is, seems like really chill and relaxed right here. This is a very nice feature added to this place. And uh, we got some ducks swimming in there. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, it seems like this this university, like whoever designed it, seems really good at design. You know, it's, it's quite a beautiful campus. And again, it's, it's kind of, a weird odd shape because it's rounded in a circle maybe that represents something but yeah it's definitely really cool I'm definitely enjoying this campus uh, a lot and mm, I'll let you know how it compares at the end That's the UFT campus so this is the library that we're entering well, it's gonna get quiet in here so, yeah so there's the library at least a part of it computer labs and everything down there it's pretty cool oh they got dual monitors on each computer oh, they seem like they make more money than U of T interesting let's see but they're still quite old computers so um, that might be the reason got a nice classroom here but I want to try to find the books where all the stacks are uh, because that would look cool yeah I'm just walking in the library now and there are a lot of books I'm talking about a lot I don't even know how I'd find anything in here. Holy, there's just books upon books upon books everywhere. Oh man. Like, look at this. I walked through these shelves and what the? They stack high up. Why is there a fly just or a bee following me? Anyways, it's so quiet in here. There's like no sound. I don't want to be the one that would be making too much sound. I'm kind of whispering in the library. This is UFT. Well, at least in my campus, Robarts Library. Yeah, that is like full of books, but this is like just rows and rows of books. Look at that. And then there's more down here, and then there's more in there. There's just books for days. Holy, what a collection.
direction. So right now, I'm in the theater. And it's a pretty nice theater. This is my element right here. Like if I was at this school, this is where I'd be. Awesome. This is so sick. It's actually so quiet. And yet, like there's no one. Um, but I'd love to watch a play here. It seems like they just finished auditions. As you can see, there's tables set over the seats. So that means they just finished auditions. Um, they got a projector up here and then the booth. Um, yeah, so this is like what I really enjoy. They just got that one light lighting this place up. But I want to take a closer look. Just kind of take a look around. I'm not going to touch anything, but because I do know, understand like on a theater, it's quite, uh, it's quite important that nothing gets touched. All set is left in place. Wow. It looks like they can run some pretty big productions here. It's a very nice theater, actually. Yeah, I just noticed that's a, it's a power plant right there. I thought it was some kind of building. It looked like a McDonald's play place or a Chuck E. Cheese or something. You see like the pipes and stuff. Weird. All right, now we gotta find out where the car is again. I just saw the theater. It's pretty cool. I don't know if that's your main theater because they do have an auditorium, but uh, yeah, it was pretty nice. And now we're probably gonna head back to the car and you know, figure this out, which is right here, back to the gardens and to the car. So yeah, I'll see you there.